there. Uh, yeah, because it causes you a lot of stress. For your own, you have to do it for your own. Like, Benefit. You have to focus on your improvement first. Mm -hmm. Like you shouldn't even be like, I want to be like ranked. I just want to be. You want to be the best. You want to. You want to yeah. be the best or the best you can be. Like, and let's see where that'll take me. And getting into this match, we PS2 Jelani ver Jump Steady versus Leaf FC. Oh man, um, calling him the government name. Hmm? Government name. Oh yeah, Jelani. Yeah, call him by his. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, we're friends like that, so I just call you know. Yeah, you know, I know him. I know no. top players like like Jump Steady. He's a top player. I know him. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's one of those things you have to be careful about. Can choose. You can't cross them up for free. Right. At the same time, uh, when you if you do cross them up, like if you oh that's it. Wow. <laughs> if you cross them up, you have to like space it in such a way where even if like he tur auto turns around, he can't punish you. Yeah, we did see the really good example of that too because the minute uh, Jump City was around him, Ooh. he just jabbed and he was safely away. Oh, he missed the pivot grab. Just that his reactions right now are on point. He's dead. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he yeah, he's, he's That was unfortunate. Now, something people do when they get hit by Ken, they panic and that happens. So when you get hit by Ken, you have to like... Oh, okay, my God, yeah. He's good, he's good, he's good. You have to mash your SDI and you also have to like react to what he does But because if you panic, you'll either get red or what just happened will happen to you. Mm-hmm. Because they can react to directional air dodges, if I'm not mistaken. And what's really funny about Ken is uh, that his Tatsu, it has a deceptively low amount of lag. So a lot of people try to punish it, but they'll just end up running into a move afterwards. Mm -hmm. So if you're close enough, you should go for a punish. And if you're not, that's when you want to expect, like, okay, he's going to press something. So I'm going to punish that. What a fake out with that hop, too, because he kind of set himself up to see how Leaf FC was going to react to it. And then he went for the up air, which is a pretty good option because... That's one thing you want to have against Ken and Ryu is on or the Shoto characters is like you want to make sure you're able to have a move that's a multi-hit to go around focus attack, which is usually the landing option for both of these characters. Right. Classic Jelani, and that was some good uh, some good DI out of that combo as well. You, contrary to popular belief, SDI is, is in this game. It's just very weak, but it makes a difference. Yeah. Uh, and it's very useful versus uh, Ken and I think Ryu. I've literally never fought a Ryu. Oh, so he did DI out of right. I mean, even he, was, he was on the platform even with the IQ. At died. that percent, um, like at kill percent, if, if you're at 100 and he only needs like two hits, because I'm not super familiar with Ken's moves, I just know what they look like. Yeah. He just needs, like, if he can, if he only needs two of those into a conversion, DI won't really help you. You're gonna die. Yeah. The but best like, way, the best way to, ex uh, to exemplify it was like there's like light and medium jab, which is exemplified by like tap and hold. Right. So like it's the tap and hold. Then I'll assure you. All right, Leaf getting back on stage with that roll up. This is scary for both players, but Jump Steady's definitely, like, has... He's in the driver's seat right now. Yeah. And he's doing a really good job of just trying to avoid being in close range with Leaf. I like that using Nair to see if you can actually just bypass the focus attack. Usually you, when you see Kennen or Ryu in disadvantage, the first thing that always oh, is going to come out is focus attack. Mm. Trying to Jumps beat you out. Catching his jump in. Went for the jump read, but Leaf ended up neutral air dodge the ledge. That grab What a range. whiff punish. That's what's crazy about Palu is on this stage, she down throws at this percent. It forces a tech on a lot of characters on the platforms, and that's insane. I don't have to tell you how insane that is. That's insane. <laughs> the oh. air dodge there, he was done. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. He's off stage. No, actually, still on stage here. Looking to get around. I like it. Jump City playing slow and steady. Jump he steady. knows he doesn't have to, like, really approach too much, and honestly, giving him respect to him and Ken in terms of the spacing that's is it. really important. Yep, bat falling there. And that's in this matchup. Uh, I'm not sure if he had his jump there. I honestly low key zoned out. But um, when you, if you side B with Ken or Ryu to the ledge, most characters can kill you. Uh, even Wolf like can dare you. Uh, it's it's pretty much like a blinking. You're holding a neon sign that says "kill me." <laughs> so you usually you'll see you'll uh, you'll see Ken's and Ryu's opt to go low. Um, Somebody, I'm sorry. Upbeat. Somebody needs to do, do like. Hopefully you do it have a combo video, but every time you get a confirm with the combo, it's the break the target's noise. <laughs> 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 like, I actually have that going. Getting into game two on Kalos. Switching to Falcon as well. I did want to see this from the start, but both his uh, Falcon and his Ken are entertaining to watch and commentate. And Jump Steady right now starting off with the control. Yep. And that's like, that's like the main hallmark of a good Palutena player. Having that much control right from the get-go yeah, too. Like, just control. You control with your with your insane hitboxes, your like intangibility, you know, yeah. Pressure, like the mm -hmm. pressure she exerts just by existing is absurd, and you really you have to abuse that. Yeah, and not only that, mixing up your time, mixing up your timings too with like empty hops, tomahawk grabs, things like that. Those are really important too because you want to make sure you're still establishing control and keeping things fresh. Like that down smash, it's super rare that I honestly ever see that. Caught but his it, landing with but it. he caught his landing with it. Yeah. 
And not only that, Palutena does have a small low profile actually when she goes for that. Mm. Hurtbox shifting in general in this game has definitely been, uh, it's way more important because I just, Hurtbox, Hurtbox is shift way more and that move yeah. is insane. That that hitbox from that move is, but it actually kind of resorts back to like Namco Bandai's roots with, with Tekken. Hurtbox <laughs> shifting is so prevalent in Tekken. Right. Like you literally, like you can just be in, in a harrow way and that, hurt, that hitbox will not hurt your Hurtbox. Leaf so. went for the dash grab there, but Jelani narrowed him out of it. He has no jump. How's he going to get back to the stage? Went for the two frame, but it didn't connect. Nice. Bit of a fake out there with a the four there, too. All right, good parry. Oh, that was nice. so impressive. Usually people parry the first one to get hit by the second one. Good punish from Leaf as well, recognizing that, okay, I think the only thing I can get here is jab. Even if I do commit to a grab, he's at the ledge, so I can't get a super crazy combo. He read the Tekken, but he unfortunately missed the standing grab. Put himself at the ledge. Now he has no jump. So I definitely want to say uh, for sure, like the one thing that Leaf FC, you might see him around Shasta often. Uh, they both, if I'm not mistaken, they speedrun games. So I'm not surprised like he has that great timing with parry because speedrunning does require like that strict level of timing. It's crazy. I've rarely, I've seldom seen communities like, like, uh, like merge as much as I see Smash and speedrunning do. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of uh, high level speedrunners. Not a lot. There's like a decent amount of high level speedrunners who also play Smash at a like competent level. Yeah, that is like, very there, true. There's that Sunshine player from Europe, I believe. I don't know where. Like I'm super like noob with speedrunning, but I believe there's a Sunshine player who plays Melee. Wow, the Roar and Nair is coming out. Oh, he, I like that up there too because he knew that the Leaf of Sea might have tried to jump out of it or go on the platform and then just read him off from that one. Wanted to punish the neutral get up with the jab. Mm, he didn't space it too. Was didn't. It's hurt hard, it's, you? I feel like it's really hard to space it in any ways back here. All right, jumps. Ooh, a little bit of a overzealous up B there. Nice. Two backers on the platform. This is on the very tough position to be in. He's able to make it back, has a second lease on life, barely. This is something new that I'm really seeing with Jump Study, is he's using a left back air more often. Oh, such a good upbeat from Jump yeah. Getting out of that position. Because even that sour knee would have been uh, would have been a threat in that position. It might not have killed, but it would have put him in a position to get edge guarded. Even his pal, oh, that's, yep, wow. <laughs> oh, he dragged him down. Went for the drag down neutral air. Good awareness from Jump Study, recognizing that he does not have a jump. Uh, potentially, if Leaf reacted, he could have maybe wall jump a bead. But even then, I'm not sure he would have made it back. I'm not sure if he was even close enough to the to the wall of the stage. Mm -hmm. But regardless, jump 